on the remote islands of Batu Sapi, off the coast of Sanda Kansaba, the inhabitants which consists of mostly fishermen, are known to many, have not had the benefit of clean electricity. The government of the state of Sabah and its representatives are mindful of the importance of infrastructure development, but at what price? In the past, the only means of getting electricity supply has been through the use of generators, which run on fossil fuels, known to be unreliable, noisy and emit fumes. Local company ETI Tech Malaysia Sinan Berhad collaborated with Green Electric Sinan Berhad and Compugate Sabah Sinan Berhad in their effort to bring the eco-friendly renewable energy to the much-needed people of Batu Sapi. Jamil Ismail, one of the fishermen in Pulau Tronglet, explains that in the past, they usually need to rely on their instinct to navigate their way through the dark in order to make it to the jetties. Datang balikan, kadang-kadang memang susah lah. Kadang-kadang jambatan, tidak ada lampu, dan juga anak-anak pulang daripada sekolah, dari dulu kan, susah balik. Uh, memandangkan uh, sistem yang ada sekarang ini, solar ini, memang mengurangkan beban-beban masyarakat kampung. Harapan kami penduduk kampung Tulunglit ini, kami memohonlah kepada pemimpin yang ada di Sikung dan juga Pelemin ini supaya dapat memberi lagi solar dari rumah ke rumah ini. Itu amat penting kepada anak-anak sekolah kami. Today, five jetties at Batu Sapi Parliamentary Constituency are equipped with a green solar-powered lighting system, a technology applied for the first time at jetties in Malaysia. For the solar-powered lighting system installed at jetties in Batu Sapi, the technology only needs one solar panel instead of multiple solar panels used for much heavier conventional lead acid systems. Thus, the system saves on material for solar panels, contributing to reduce logistics costs, while the LED lamps could last for 10,000 hours. They are also lightweight, eco-friendly, cost-efficient, and longer lasting. We now know that the battery is the key component in a solar power system used to store energy from the sun. With ETI Tech's lithium-based green battery, up to 85% of power can be stored and utilized, compared to the conventional lead acid battery, which typically only 30% of power can be stored and used. More importantly, the lithium batteries can be easily recycled after its useful life whereas the conventional lead-acid batteries, which emit poisonous sulfuric fumes, are not readily recyclable. As a result, these indiscriminately disposed way of lead-acid batteries are the key cause of lead poisoning through contamination of water supply, thus further harming the environment and the health of its constituents. Batu Sapi Member of Parliament Y. Bidato Edmund Chong, a professional engineer, was instrumental in bringing electricity supply to these remote islands. Our leaders will have to be uh, um, sort of a more, more knowledgeable in the sense that uh, in terms of the environment, in terms of what damages certain uh, system that we use can damage the environment. You see, let's see batteries just like our car. Uh, our battery will not be of any good use after one year plus. In these school projects like in the Bulau here, they have a room full of these kind of batteries. Where are they going to dispose? How are they going to dispose it? What method they're going to dispose it? Save the environment and i.e. how to save the children, the, our future generation, from being poisoned. So that's why we have to use something that is environmentally friendly. ETI Tech is offering such solar power system solutions to the government at a total install price of only 40 ringgit per watt hour for systems below 10 kilowatt hour and 50 ringgit per watt hour for those above 10 kilowatt hour, which are a fraction of the costs of a system using lead acid batteries. Furthermore, the ETI green battery comes with 5 years warranty and 15 years for the solar panel. Imagine having the solution a technology that is efficient, cost-effective and eco-friendly that helped to light up the lives of those who once lived without power while keeping their environment clean in the process. That was a, a great idea. Where it is big, that's a kerajaan, hijau. So this is a, a, a green, green policy of Malaysia to use a system that will save the environment in the end. 
So I think that is important. We're going to install 15 jetties in 11 kampong. The ETI system and green battery are locally designed, developed, tested and made to comply to strict local and international safety and quality standards. It is made in Malaysia for the world. Today the fishermen of Batu Sapi can now see their jetties from a distance and safely unload their catch at well-lit jetties when they return at night, thanks to ETI's solar-powered lighting system that uses eco-friendly, rechargeable batteries.